Hey folks, Sheldon with Tiger Tough here again. Today we're gonna put some seat covers on the back seat of this Ford Ranger. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is take all three of these headrests off. And to do that, on the two bigger headrests, you just press this button in right here to fold it forward. And then there's buttons on the on the base. There's a button on each side, and you press them both in and just pull the headrest out. And you do that for all three of them. Like that. Alright, I've got the cover for the whole seat back here. Now we're gonna put that on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that I've got it the right way. And that's this big square in the front, which is for the uh, armrest. Make sure that that's towards the front. And now I'm just gonna push the whole thing behind the seat belt like that. And then we'll fold the seat back forward. And to do that, I'm just gonna pull up on that loop and then we can tip the whole seat back forward. And now I'm just gonna start working this cover over the seat, almost like a big pillowcase. So now I'm going to just make sure this loop that we use to release the seat, make sure that that sticks out of the cover, like so. So I've got the cover pulled down, um, made sure that these rubber bumpers and the latch, all those holes line up like they're supposed to. And now I'm just going to work the cover underneath the plastic trim where the headrests go in. So to do that, I'm just hooking it over like that, and we'll do that for all six of them. There we go. Now, these long flaps here are gonna get pushed right through about between the seat back and the seat bottom. Push them through so they come out the back. Okay, we've got those pulled out. Just making sure that you get the cover over top of all of the child seat restraints, or the child seat anchors. Just make sure the cover stays over top of them. Now we'll just fold it down and start pulling these up tight. And the tighter that you pull these flaps, the better that your cover is going to fit. So there we go. That looks pretty good. I'm just going to go through here and straighten up a few wrinkles, and then we'll start on the bottom. Okay, the next step is going to be to put the armrest cover on. So I'm just going to pull this little loop, pop the armrest out and then slide the cover over it like that. And then this piece, I'm going to work up around the back of it. So now, if you come in and take a look here, I've got this piece with the Velcro on it up around the back. I'm just going to pull the top piece down in there and fasten them together. That keeps the connection out of the way of where your elbow is going to sit. And then just make sure that this loop here, the release loop comes out of that hole and you're good.
All right, now we're gonna put the cover on the seat bottom. And to flip the bottom up, you're just gonna pull on one of the uh, little loops in the front. It's on either side, so just pull that out and lift the seat up. Now the cover, it's got one side that's got some big ovals cut into it. That's the bottom side. And this is, this is gonna go on a lot like the cover did on the back. So we'll just start working it down over the seat. And then I'm just gonna reach up in here and push these loops out of each corner so that you can release the seat to fold it up easily. Just like that, we'll do that on both sides. And now these loops right here, this isn't totally necessary, but I like to just tuck the cover in behind there because that way it looks nice when the seat's folded up. All right, now I'm just gonna pull this loop again, fold the seat down and run these flaps between the seat back and the seat bottom. Now I'm just going to pull all of these as tight as I can and stick them up here and just like on the back, the tighter you pull them, the better your cover is going to fit. There we go. Now we'll fold it down and see how it looks. good to me. Just gonna work out these couple little wrinkles. Tuck this down in here. Make it look as good as possible. Okay, all we have is the final step and that is to put the headrests back on and cover them. Okay, last step, we're gonna put all the headrests in and then I'm gonna show you how to cover them. To put the headrests in, it's pretty easy. Just line them up and press in, not, not the big tab, but the small tab, press that in and then you can put the headrests right in. I'm just gonna go through here and do that. I'm gonna leave, I'm leave them up in the highest notch so that way I can get my hands underneath them and make it a little bit easier to put the cover on. So on these bigger ones, to put the cover on, you just set the cover so that the tail is towards the front of the cover. And this hook Velcro on the inside will try and catch a little bit. So you just have to work them down over the, over the headrest. And now I'm just going to push this tail from the front and push it through and stick it up inside the cover like that. And this one here, the, this is actually, a, this um, can only go on one way. So just make sure that you've got it on so that this, the loop Velcro or you can see the taller part of the cover is facing forward. And then we just fasten the little tabs together underneath. And keep doing the same thing all the way across.
there we go. That is the rear seat of a Ford Ranger completely covered.